this video, I want to talk a little bit about as far as lighting and just show you some of the effects available to you. Before getting too in depth though, one thing I need to emphasize is this is now kind of a point in Maya where the actual renderer that you choose to use can have an effect on what your outcomes are and what you'd like to accomplish. Now, as a reminder, there are three renderers that you can have with Maya, uh, especially for those of you using student versions or anything like that. You have the Maya software, you have the Maya hardware, but then also too, Maya has an agreement with Arnold for the Arnold renderer as well. As far as doing general work, you're going to be able to get a lot done as far as generic modeling layout when with the Maya software. It's when you want to start getting into lighting, special effects, etc., that it seems like we see this shift into Maya Hardware 2.0. For the most photorealistic elements, it seems like then you shift into the Arnold renderer. However, having said that, as you switch between renderers, it also changes what is available to you and how your objects and elements in your scene are going to react. So for this demo here, I put together a really quick little scene. I just grabbed some polygons. I added an area light for the scene, but also just to show you here in the hypershade window. Uh, what I grabbed was I did an Arnold AI standard surface. I'd like to show what the Arnold materials look like in the software and hardware 2.0. I made a blind and a thong as far as some of the surfaces, and I kept the default Lambert on just so you can see that. So if I come in here and let's go ahead and jump into the render and let's go into Maya software, and I'm gonna do a quick little render here. So this is with an area light. And for those of you who have uh, had me in class, you know that the area light is probably my favorite of the lights. It gives you a lot of flexibility as far as layout goes. But if I go ahead and pull this over here, one thing I wanna draw your attention to right out of the gate is this is that Arnold material here, that AI standard shader. And you can see that pretty much, this is a huge issue that we run into is because I mean, it looks fake. You can see that with the other standard Maya materials, you still have, you know, kind of that realistic look to them, not too bad. And I can change as far as the intensity of the area light. Now, a couple of other things, though, to point out to you before we dive too in depth here with the area light. One thing that I did turn on before making this video, and I just do this by force of habit, is if I click on the area light, and let's come over into our attribute under, editor. Under area light shape one, I actually turn on shadows. Let me deselect use depth map shadows and let me do another render for you. You can see the difference here. You see how I've lost kind of those shots back behind as far as the shadows? Depending on the type of computer you're working on, I would say maybe leave the shadows off until you're sorting out that final render as far as the design and layout because you're just asking the machine to do more. So for right now, I'm gonna turn this back on, but we kind of took a little peek at the Maya software. I'd like to show you the Maya hardware and what that looks like here. There you can see as far as lighting goes, first off, yes, it was faster as far as a 1920 by 1080, but also to notice how at least we're seeing the shadows here. We're kind of getting a replica of what we would actually see in the scene here. Now in Arnold though, however, Arnold has specific lighting and a lot of the lights that you work with from the general rendering, as far as Maya is concerned, you really have to increase the intensity. For demonstration's sake, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna X out of my render view here for a second, and I'm gonna go ahead and just grab from Arnold, I'm gonna make a sky dome light. And yes, this looks terrible in my render view right now. But let's go ahead now, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into Arnold Renderer, and let's take a look at how that turns out here. All right, 
So I did kind of clip the video there for everybody. It took a minute for Arnold to render this out, but as you can see, it's kind of night and day here. Not only am I getting those reflective elements, that final red cylinder here that I had used the AI standard surface on uh, looks a lot better. I'm getting my reflections and just all around way more photorealistic. That's something to keep in mind whenever you're working here with your different renderers and what you'd like to output. Again, to reemphasize with lighting, fog, and special effects though, when it comes to lights, you are making a trade-off. Uh, yes, they will work in my hardware 2.0. They may not work in the Arnold renderer. So do you want high-end renders from a material with more real world lighting? Or do you want to have that capability to have extra controls and the special effects that you can do with the lights? So I'm going to X out of this for a second and let me go ahead here. We're going to remove that area light. Let's come back in though. And what I want to actually do here is I want to grab a point light just to kind of demo here. So we're going to add this little point light here kind of behind. So right now, tossed in the point light, let's go ahead and go to the hardware renderer just so we can see what's going on. So there you can see my point light, you can see my shadows shooting off there, all good stuff. Now, one option that I have with this point light though is under the point light shape. Again, I can change color, so I could actually come in here and maybe let's do, oh, I don't know, maybe like more of like a cream color. There we go. And you know what, I'm happy with the intensity, but then underneath here, you do have lighting effects and depth map shadow attributes here under the shadows. So I am gonna turn on the shadows, but I'd like to talk a little bit about this light glow lighting effect here. You do have several options when it comes to these type of effects. You can combine them with all of the different other elements here within the design. But for right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add a light glow. Now, when you click on that, what Maya does is it generates what is called an optical FX. And you can actually view these if you go into the hypershade window. Under lights, you can see here you can have pre-made as far as, so there's my optical FX2 that is associated with this light here. So I'm gonna come in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a lens flare. Let's see here, maybe do a rim halo. And you can see underneath, I'm getting kind of this preview here. So maybe I wanna make more points to change the rotation, please that, please the spread a little bit, or actually, yeah, we'll bring that up a little bit. What I really want is folks to be able to see kind of what's going on there. So halo attributes, here we go. Kind of bring that up a little bit, bring that up. There we go. So we got something kind of going on here as a special effect. So let's go back into our render view. Now, if I come to Maya hardware, notice I've got the same exact render here, but let's hop into Maya software for a second. So taking a look in the Maya software, notice what happens here. I mean, you really see the special effects here. This is a prime example, though, that I wanted to emphasize with lighting and special effects that notice I'm making decisions here. So hooray, I have special effects, but if I want to go to the Maya hardware, notice I lose that. Pretty much also, it's safe to guess that many of these special effects, you're going to lose them in Arnold. So that goes back to the discussion there where what do you want as far as your overall layout is concerned? And what are you trying to get across whenever you're doing 3D modeling? So I just wanted to take a moment and talk about that a little bit in this video, just to give you a background as far as jumping between your renderers and also just being able to play around with the optical effects of lights. 
Uh, Maya has a lot of documentation on this as far as examples and demos and is a great option as far as, you know, over time, you'll just be able to figure out, you know, what are you trying to do? You know what, this is going to be the best renderer for that and then being able to move forward from that. So hopefully this video helped as far as getting you started and thinking about what are the type of effects you want in your scene and what do you need to change and what renderer to use.